How's it going? All right, let's get back to this. So I have this one friend, the guy that got me into knife making, and I show him every blade I've ever made and everything. And he's always brutally honest. I mean, it stings sometimes to the point where it's like, no. Nah! But then you realize, you know, he's right. You're just being lazy or whatever. And you need to work on that, which has helped me immensely. But I think I'm doing better because all we said is I need to fix this right here. And the jimping's uneven. Those were the only two problems he found with his whole knife. Well, he said right here, the bevels are a little faded. But those three things out of a whole big knife like that, for him to tell me is awesome. Usually he'll like, I mean like fine to, you know how you see me being real picky? It's because I know I have to show it to him and he's gonna make it tear it apart. But honestly, if you're in the knife making or anything, you need a friend like that. It hurts and it stings, but man, it improves your performance and your building by leaps and bounds. Because most people don't want to hurt other people's feelings. You know, they want to be like, oh, it's okay, that looks great. But you know, honestly, they're thinking, man, that looks like <laughs> you know? Because being honest with yourself is hard. You're either too critical or not critical enough. That's why you need someone that's gonna be honest and tell you, hey man, you're slipping. Or hey man, you're doing great. So when he told me how good this blade looked, man, that made it all the work pay off. <laughs> Let's get on this. I'm just gonna cut it with the bandsaw and then we'll do the uh, grinding. I'm gonna mill the jimping in more to make it even, but I'm not gonna show that. You know, you saw how I did it in the first place, so. All right, to the bandsaw. Luckily, I didn't harden the whole thing. I only hardened that so we can cut it. <laughs> Gotta take one here phone off. <laughs> I went ahead and taped up one side. That way, you know, when I'm doing this, I'm not scratching it. <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah, I cut off, I almost forgot. I'm making uh, some eyelet. That same friend let me borrow his eyelet deal. This is what you buy, you know, for like Kydex. So I figured I had some 01, I cut it in half, and I'm gonna make just this part for my drill press. Let me change this blade out. I bought some of these uh, Master Band bandsaw blades. They're, sp they're almost twice as much, but they're supposed to be really good, so. I just wanted to see how well they worked. Remember, before you turn it on, always stand back to see if it goes on track. There we go. Let me get my headphones, my headphones. Let me get my earphones on, we'll do this. All right, well, I guess this handle hardened too. Because <laughs> it ain't cutting it. I just have to grind it off. Let me go set the grinder up. I'm not gonna waste a blade. Yeah, so I've heard, oh, uh, 5160 is an air cooling steel. Cause I only dipped it, remember, to like here. So, but I guess it hardened anyway. Cause that was a brand new blade and it barely touched it. Got the one inch wheel. Oh, check this out. Smog knives in one of his videos. It's like an abrasive eraser. I already used it for uh, my 120. It was kind of getting dull and I hit it on the belt and it uh, sharpened it right up. So here's the 36. I think it's what we're gonna have to use to cut into this. But we've already, you know, it's an older belt so I'm gonna hit it and see what it works, it does. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that feels much better. Fits right in the hand now. <laughs> yeah. 
one, two, then your finger. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to have people tell you what you uh, need to fix. That hole right there almost messed me up. <laughs> but I think that's it. Nice, nice, nice. Now, let me just put like a 240 on there and clean the rest of it up. Here we go. Yeah, somehow when I took this handle down, I went into these jimpings, see how they go. Well, this one's smaller than bigger, smaller, 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 so. But let me cut this little piece off, then we'll finish the spine. Then I gotta do a little bit in here. That'll be it for this one. I mean, for this part. All right, just gotta raise the table and finish out here. And then once I come in here with the mill, I have to clean these out. Clean it off a little bit. It does seem to take that stripe back out. You know, the bigger the wheel, the better, but that's something See where I was stopping? When you stop, you get divots. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm working a little bit and I'm gonna have to work the rest of it and just not stop, pull it all the way through. Now I put, I'm just, off camera, I'm just gonna put the little wheel on again right in here. I'll meet you back at the bench. hee -haw. All right, check her out. Yeah, fits right in the hand. You can wear it, you can even hold it back, hold it up, or even hold it higher. It's got three ways to hold it. <laughs> for chopping, for regular use, and for choking up. I redid the jimping, that came out pretty good. I was a little worried it wouldn't, I just took my time, drew a line, put some dike and drew a line where to go to, and it all worked out. So what I want to do now is dip it in ferric and let it soak for a little bit, pull it out, and then I'm going to redo the bevels because I got a spot here I got to do, and you know a few other spots. That way it'll be black on top with a two-tone. All right, I'm going to go dip it in ferric. All right. Here we go. I cleaned it up. Let me put it in. Oh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> I might have to do both sides. <laughs> I'm not really worried. You can see where it stopped right there. I'm not really worried about the handle too much. I mean the bevels. I just want to make sure I get the flats even. All right, now I'm going to leave it soak. <laughs> And then I'll have to flip it over and hit the handle too. <laughs> you can see the tip of it's right here. <laughs> All right, I checked it. It's, it hasn't even been like two minutes and it's black. So I think we're good. Let me go, uh, let me flip it over and actually I'm gonna, let me get a towel to hold it and I'll flip it over for a little bit. Now I'll go put it in the baking soda. All right, I'll be back. Well, I had to dip it twice because it came out real light. In fact, I might have to dip it again. There's a few spots I see. Oh, no, they seem to darken up. Right in here a little bit. But we'll see. I might have to dip it a third time, but... All right. Well, it's like 2 in the morning again. 
So I'm going to wait and do the bevels tomorrow. See you in a second. <laughs> All right, next day. Let's get back on this. Since I got to finish taking this down and get it all even, I'm just going to put a 120 belt on there. And I don't need to dike them now because basically, you know, the blackness will be the dike them. And I'll just have to stick to my edges and not go over. I am going to dike them here to make sure I keep this straight. All right, let's get to the grinder. Just going to hit this and bring it right up to that line. Bring this edge down so we're even. And then uh, we'll see where we're going from there. Got a little touch up here and there we gotta do but let's see how we get this other side first and then we'll go from there looks like right there is a little spot all right Now we just gotta bring this back to here. Clean up right there on that line. So that's pretty even here. See about up here. Come from there about there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we got this a little higher. Now we're getting there. Right here. <laughs> All right. I think mean, that's about it. I'm gonna put the uh, Scotch Bright, and uh, thanks to Steve Miller knives, I'm gonna start. Man, that handle feels good. Thanks to Steve Miller knives, the Scotch Bright and some WD-40 really helps it out. All right, just turn it on, spray it down with some WD-40. Here we go. Now that's one thing I noticed the last time. I pushed it too far back and it really blurred the lines, but if you keep it nice and crisp, it stays pretty good. All right, one more side and we're done. So that's one thing when you go higher grits, it'll show your imperfections. Right there, I still need to bring it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a 240 on and kiss it again. And then we should be good. Then I'll bring it back up, but you don't need to see that again. So that's about it. I really like how that two-tone came out. Yeah, fixed up pretty nice. I got that all fixed up, whichever side it was. <laughs> Got it all looking pretty even. So next will be the handles. 
Uh, I showed you the coca bowl of scales in the last video if you didn't see it. But I got them all put away. I don't want them getting dirty. So I got them all wrapped up and stuff. Got my Vader knife shirt on. I made a different one because for some reason when I designed it, this, this knife shrunk. It got all squeezed in so it doesn't look right. And I had to fix it up. My friend said this lettering doesn't look right because how it's curved. So I straightened that out. So I've got two versions of this that I'm gonna, you know, I want some opinions, see which one you guys think is better. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please like, please comment, subscribe, hit the notifications so, you know, you can be informed if you like my videos. Thanks for the support. I can't tell y'all how much it really means. I really do appreciate, you know, all the comments, the support, subscribers, all that stuff. So thanks. And share with your friends, do all that good stuff. As always, take it easy. <laughs>